Well, you assume that the prices we get at our local grocery store are pretty much all the same. Doesn't matter whether the store is in your neighborhood or five or 10 miles down the road. Not quite. Yeah, yeah. I do want to barter sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> a new consumer investigation is finding there can be substantial differences. Joanne Purton has this story, so you don't waste your money. Carrie Simmons is a busy mom and every penny counts when she shops for groceries. We're a family of five on one income, so we try to make our dollar stretch. So she couldn't believe her eyes when she found the price of Tyson chicken breasts much higher at one store compared to another nearby. A pound of chicken was $5.99 a pound. And then when I came here, it was $3.99 a pound. I thought, well, that's a huge difference. Worse, it was the same grocery chain. She's not the only viewer to complain about this. Charlotte Wilson told the Don't Waste Your Money team the same thing a couple years ago. Finding grapes for $1.76 a pound at one Walmart store, but just 92 cents a pound at another Walmart. Consumers should be aware of the fact that they have such a large discrepancy in the prices. So could you be paying more simply because of where you live? And could some neighborhoods actually have higher priced groceries than others? To find out, our sister station in Cincinnati compared prices at 16 grocery stores from four different chains on the same day. They chose nine popular grocery items, ranging from chicken to dry goods to fruit. The results? Most prices were uniform in the same chain. But Walmart had several discrepancies with chicken breasts, ranging from two dollars and 26 a pound to 383 a pound. One Walmart also had the cheapest bananas, 38 cents a pound, opposed to more than 50 cents at its other stores. Walmart referred the Don't Waste Your Money team to its website, where it says prices may vary because each store must manage its own inventory and compete with local merchants. Bottom line here, most major grocery store chains tend to have the same prices in a region, but we did find several lower prices in the one neighborhood with three competing grocery stores plus a Target and a Sam's Club all within one mile. So it may pay to shop in an area with a lot of competition, which is what Carrie Simmons plans to do. So bottom line here, the more competition in an area, the lower the prices. But remember the cost of your time and gasoline, it's certainly not worth driving another 15 minutes out of your way just to save a couple of dollars. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.